praise the lord dear brothers and sisters past week we have seen the construction of the tabernacle before that we have also seen some of the elements put it inside the tabernacle like the lamp stand the testimony the ark of the testimony and we have seen the showbread table also all that we have seen we are now formed the tent also outside the tent exterior part and interior part all the parts we have seen and in the tabernacle we have seen there are two places the most holy place and the holiest place so we have to decide how much holy our god is that only the high priest can go inside and do all the sacrificial <coughs> festivals like all the rituals and relations like that all that they can go high priest only can go in the most holy place and he has to only do the all the regulations rules and regulations everything whatever that time they must be doing all the sacrificial things all that so we can see from this how holy our god is and how holy we must be to meet with him so in today's chapter we are going to read the outer court construction and the ark of the sacrifice also we are going to read the altar on which sacrifice things are done and after that we have also seeing the lamp stand lamp stand care and maintenance also we are going to see in today's week so let us help for god to help us to understand the chapter which we are reading before that starting the session let us go in prayer for a moment so that god can help us to read the today's chapter and understand it nicely our heavenly father previous week and previous week we were learning about the construction of your tabernacle first we have finished the interior part now we are coming out of the exterior part the tent to the tabernacle which are made and now we are coming to the boundaries and the courtyard which contains all the other elements required my father today we are going to read exodus chapter 27 help us to read the chapter understand the chapter go through it nicely understand it nicely and help us to mark every word in our hearts and help us to learn some life lessons also my father in the precious name of lord jesus christ i pray amen Exodus chapter 27 The altar of the burnt offering so on which the sacrifice has to be given that altar they are making now burnt offering that too the sacrifice has to be burned with fire for that one altar they are making so that they can lay any anim- animal on that and put coals under that and burn with it like that they are making one altar you shall make an altar of acacia wood 5 cubits long and 5 cubits broad the altar shall be square and its height shall be 3 cubit you shall make its horn on its four corners its horn shall be of one piece with it and you shall overlay it with bronze also you shall make its pans to receive its ashes and its shawls and its basins and its forks and its fire pans you shall make all its utensils of bronze so first it is made with wood and after that it is covered with bronze and all the utensils used for it the taking out one the ashes collecting one the spreading one all the utensils which ever used for it are made with bronze first this construction is made with wood overlaid with bronze after that all the utensils also made with bronze only you shall make a grate for it a network of bronze and on the network you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners you shall put it under the rim of the altar beneath that the network may be midway up the altar and you shall make the poles for the altar poles of acacia wood and overlay them with bronze the poles shall be put in the rings and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar to be erected you shall make it hollow with boards as it was shown you on the mountain so shall they make it the coat of the tabernacle now the altar of the burnt offering is over coat of the tabernacle now all the boundaries that they are construction how they are doing the construction we will see you shall also make the coat of the tabernacle for the south side there shall be hangings for the coat woven of fine linen thread 100 cubits long for one side and its 20 pillars and the 20 socket shall be of bronze the hooks of the pillars and their band shall be of silver likewise along the length of the north side there shall be hangings 100 cubits long with its 20 pillars and their 20 sockets of bronze and the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver 
and also the and along the width of the court on the west side there will be hangings of 50 cubits and there are 10 pillars and there are 10 sockets the width of the court on the east side shall be 50 cubits the hangings on one side of the gate shall be 15 cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets and on the other side shall be hangings of 15 cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets for the gate of the court there shall be a screen 20 cubits long woven of blue and purple and scattered yarn and fine linen and thread made by a weaver it shall have four pillars and four sockets all the pillars around the court shall have bands of silver their hook shall be of silver and their sockets of bronze the length of the court shall be 100 cubits the width of 50 the width of 50 throughout and the height 5 cubits woven of fine linen and thread and its sockets of bronze all the utensils of the tabernacle for all its service all its pegs and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze the courtyard for the tabernacle the army king in the shape of a rectangle like that at back side it will be 50 cubits at front side it will be 50 cubits side side it will be 100 cubits the pillars which we are laying 5 by cubits gap they are giving and laying the pillars means 5 cubits leaving laying the pillars and the gate itself is about 30 cubits like this wide and the two pillars which are coming this side two pillars this side here 20 pillars and after that back side again five pillars two two five here ten here ten like that it's coming five five cubits 20 20 they are making five 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 like all like it is like rectangle shape only the tabernacle also like rectangle shape only but the altar of the burnt offering it's a square shape like that and after that the care of the lampstand now care how to take off the lampstand this all things they made now they have to take the care of so of that that also they are going to do how they are going to do god is telling to them and you shall command the children of israel that they bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light to cause the lamp to burn continually in the tabernacle of meeting outside the veil which is before the testimony aaron and his sons shall tend it from evening until morning before the lord it shall be a statue forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel. So God is telling from all the people you have to collect the oil, olive pressed oil that you have to collect so that the flame on the lampstand may burn continue. So this is the end of today's chapter, Exodus chapter 27. Hope we have learned some of the construction. In the coming weeks also we are going to learn the constructions only nothing more simply we are reading and understanding it it's nice for us only how the people lived at that time what what they did what what god told to do and what what they did how they did all that they're simply listening to god whatever god is telling them so god is also making them busy in the work which god like rather than they will do the work which god do not like then it's difficult for them only so simply god is making them busy so that god may see them doing the work which god like not the other god like people like making bulls and all nothing like this only god is making them work so this is the end of today's chapter hope we have learned something let us end the session with a prayer our heavenly father this week also we have seen some of the construction that are going to made the altar for the burnt offering and the courtyard of the tabernacle the care of the lampstand all this we have seen my father these chapters help us to read them continuously to understand them more nicely my father this may be difficult because mass is involved in this but you shown them all the design at that time on the mountain that they are seeing it nicely making sketching all are working for you my father and help us to work for you whatever we do rather than doing any other thing which you do not like my father and help us to be most holy my father help us to be capable to meet you when we are in heaven my father to talk in front of you or to kneel down and pray in front of you or to praise you at least my father help us to be fit or be prepared for that day your coming day my father in the precious name of lord jesus christ i pray amen